Drop top, smoking no cook in the hot box. Fucking on your bitch, she a dot dot dot. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. I don't try nobody quit the trigger. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get gang. Call me a river, give you a tissue. Bad bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a bullshit. My niggas are sad. We got that in the hundred rounds. See how I did this and keep watching. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, you guys, I'm going to start off with my eyes already, eyebrows already done, and I'm going to be doing my eyes. So first, I'm going to be priming them with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Chestnut. I'm just applying this directly to my lid, and then I'm going to be using my finger and just patting it in to work the product in because the warmth from your finger will work it in. Then next, I'm going to set that with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And then I'm going to take a Sonia Kashuk brush that I got from a set in Target. And I'm going to be basically placing that on my lid also. This will just set the concealer in place to make sure it doesn't move. And make a smooth base for our next colors. Next, I'm taking this burnt orange color from the Sweet Peach Palette. And I'm just going to work that into my crease as a translucent color. I'm just using this fluffy blending brush. I believe this is from Elf. I'm not sure. It's really cheap though. And I just work that in using windshield wiper motions back and forth. Then I'm going to take the color next to it. I believe it's called Summer Yum. And it's more like a peachy um, orange color. And I'm also using that just to, you know, fill that color up. After those colors, I'm taking the BH Cosmetics, uh, I think it's either a 28 color palette or 48 color palette, and I'm going to be taking this red color with this packed brush. This brush came in a set, it was like a mini set, um, like from CVS or something. They're very inexpensive. And I'm patting this color on, and I, show, I showed that the pigmentation wasn't really there, so I tried to build this color up as much as I could, but it didn't really work. So, I mean, I went in later on with the lip lipstick, but yes, I tried to build the color up. It wasn't really working for me. No pigmentation at all. I haven't used this palette in a long time. It was one of the first palettes I got, so I don't really recommend it. It's not very pigmented. Then I'm going to be taking this blending brush just to blend it out um, so it won't be any harsh edges. And now I'm going to be using the Urban Decay palette in the really bright pink color. And I'm going to be putting that in my crease. Just to transition from like red to pink. After working that red pink color in your crease and blending it out really well, I'm going to be taking the orange color from the Urban Decay palette. And I'm gonna be placing that in my crease also, just to make like an ombre, really pretty like sunset look kind of. I really liked when I put the orange in and made the red and the pink pop a lot. Okay, back to the lid now. We'll be taking the melon pigment. Oh, it's not melon, it's called rose. It's a pigment from MAC, and I'm going to be taking that same brush I applied the BH Cosmetic Color on, and I'm just going to pack it onto my lid. Like, just press it, because I didn't use any water. I later on went in water, and then pressed it on to make sure that it stayed. So now I'm taking the lips, liquid lipstick that I was talking about, and I'm going to put it in my inner and outer um, lid, kind of to make create a halo eye. Uh, this color is from Lena Lashes. I believe it's called Lucius. I really have to double check on that, but it will be in the description box. And I'm just taking a blending brush from Dress Up Brushes, which is really cheap from eBay, and literally blending this out to just make sure that there's no harsh lines. And now I'm taking that same Sonia Kashuk brush and kind of reapplying some of the orange and blending it out. And now I'm taking these Dodo Lashes 
Um, I'm really bad at this, but I don't know the style either. And the lashes kind of look a little weird, but it's okay. And now I'm taking the Becca Cosmetics um, primer, the one I always use, the matte primer, and just rubbing this all over my T-zone. Um, and someone asked how I cleared up my skin from previous tutorials, and I'll show a skincare routine too. And then I'm taking this L'Oreal Revita, I think, Coral Revita, I don't know, it's a primer. And I'm going to take that and just rub it everywhere else with the T-zone. And then this NYX highlighting stick and applying this all to the highlighted areas. And I'm just going to rub this out with my finger. Literally, your fingers are sometimes your best tool, so... Now I'm taking the Revlon Color Safe Foundation, I believe it's in Cappuccino, and I'm going to just apply this all with my e.l.f. brush, the normal routine. And I should be posting the foundation routine earlier. But yeah, I'm not really good at, like a pro at applying lashes. I'm still learning, so bear with me. They kind of look a little uneven because I cut a little bit off on one more than the other. But it's okay. We're all learning in this makeup game. Then I'm going to proceed with the Maybelline Concealer and the Master Conceal. And I believe this is in the color Deep. I know it's really not deep. I think this is the darkest color they have. And it really is a really highlighted color for me. So I do this when I'm doing like glam looks. So I'm gonna use that same e.l.f. brush and blend it out. And you don't need a lot of this product. Like, trust me, it goes a long way. And I even applied a lot here. So yeah, I applied a little bit too much. But I blended it out to make sure that the mistakes was concealed. Now I'm going to be taking the Black Radiance, um, I believe it's a duo concealer and the deeper color in it. And I'm going to just contour with this and I'm using this Real Technique brush. I believe it's a concealer brush and I'm going to just be applying it to the perimeter of my face, bridge of my nose, my cheekbones, like the contour cheekbones, and under my jawline. It's just create a more, you know, chiseled look, you know, that skinny popping face. And I'm just blending this out with the e.l.f. brush as normal. And then I'm going to be taking this Kabuki brush. It's kind of like tapered. And the L.A. What? And the Laura Mercier powder. And just setting the highlighted places. And I'm just patting and packing it. And then kind of wiping away after I do it. I don't bake, but, you know set it and press it in my skin. Now I'm taking the Black Radiance, yes, the Black Radiance powder and this is a contour kit. And I'm gonna be taking the darkest shade to like contour. And I'm taking one of these brushes from a Morphe set that I got. It's like just a tapered fluffy brush. And then now I'm also taking this smaller tapered like blending fluffy brush to contour my nose. I'm still learning how to contour my nose also, but you know, my nose is really big, so I have to do something. Finishing up the eyes, I'm using the Morphe 350 palette, and I'm taking that really bright kind of champagne -y shade. I love using this shade. I already hit pan on it. But I'm gonna put that in my inner corner just to make it pop, make these other eyeshadows seem, you know, more bright. I'm using this Morphe really flat brush, um, really skinny brush. I don't know what it's called, but it's very precise and I really love this brush. Now I'm taking the Lena Lashes Liquid Lipstick and that same brush and I'm applying it to my lower lash line. And I'm just going to connect these two colors, like the outer V to my eye and the bottom of my lash line. 
And then I'm taking this white milk NYX pencil and I'm gonna be applying this to my waterline just to make my eyes more open and pop. And I liked how this look, I didn't even know it would do this, but it looked a little purple because of the pink and the white. Then I'm gonna be taking this uh, Sun Dip Glow Kit by Anastasia and taking the bronze color and I'm gonna just apply this all to my highlighted areas. And you wanna be glowing on Valentine's Day, so make sure you apply a generous amount. And I'm using this e.l.f. taper brush, which is like $2, and it works really well. I really like it. Next, for the lips, I'm going to be using a combination of the Smashbox liquid lipstick. Um, I don't know the name. I will leave it in the description. But first, I applied the Limbo by ColourPop all over my lips. And then I applied the Smashbox gray lipstick in my center of my lips and then a little bit of uh, the Lena Lashes, Lucius, in like the inner, the corners of my lips. And it created this beautiful, beautiful combination. So that's the end of the look and hope you guys enjoyed. And like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye. Okay, thanks you guys for watching. Um, subscribe for more videos. Like down below and comment. I don't know what's going on with my voice. <clears throat> Can't. It's not working, but okay. Yeah, my voice is broken. That's great. Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh my god. Whatever. So, oh my goodness, <laughs> so I command. <clears throat> okay, so bye guys.